Hi, good morning. It's morning over here. Uh, welcome to the Soil Inventory. My name is Grace Riro, a farmer and an agronomist. I'm so glad that you had time and chance to be here today. Uh, I'll be taking you to the field shortly. I did introduce um, my fellow friends who are also agronomists and farmers in the previous video, but today I'll be showing you how we did demonstrate conservation agriculture, how we visited our farmers who need or rather who have been using our services. And I hope you enjoy this video. Learn a thing or two. Karibu Nisana. What we did done is around uh, four CA basins. Uh, the depth is between 15 to 20 centimeters deep. And this because you're trying to break uh, the hard pan uh, so that at least we can get the roots penetrating and also get uh, more water uh, to be conserved in these uh, basins. Yeah, so uh, when you talk about conservation agriculture, there's that farmer who has uh, less than an eighth, uh, an eighth of an acre and would also want to do CA. So there are those, I mean, there's the technology of using the hoe to prepare what you call the CA basins. CA basins are basically just what, just like a basin is used to collect water, CA basins are used to collect water in the field. So, uh, it's a hole of dimensions of 35 by 10 to 15 depth and by the uh, by the the width should be how wide the jembe is or how wide the hole is so the best jembe is the one that is 90 degrees to the uh to this what to him so it's supposed to be 90 degrees such that it doesn't slant too much if it slants too much yeah, you might need to use more energy to prepare CA basin, but basically it should be 90 degrees. So the dimensions are here. Uh, from here to here is that 5 centimeters. From here to here is that 5 centimeters. And uh, the depth is 15 to 20 centimeters. This is to allow for to get space to, to actually penetrate. And also when we go to that depth, we also make sure that people, I mean, we've, we've also reached the hard pan and we've broken part if not all of it so the roots can can easily penetrate so what will happen uh, as we as we plant we are not going to plant our seeds down there we are actually going to backfill the soil uh, when you have when you have ma manure you're supposed to put uh, two two handfuls so two double handfuls so like this you put manure and then two of them you backfill a little you backfill a little bit more and then yeah if you have fertilizer you put your fertilizer and then you backfill because the fertilizer is not supposed to be it's not supposed to be to be in contact with the seed so uh you backfill until it's only about five centimeters deep after doing that and you have about that five centimeter depth you are going to place your seeds. Uh, one basin normally carries three seeds. These seeds, as an uh, our colleague had soaked them in some organic uh, liquid, and so that's why we didn't use fertilizer. But we are going to plant and see how they come along. So one basin will, will normally carry three seeds. So one supposed to be three another one in the middle and another one on the other end after that just make sure that the seed is well covered that's about it yeah. we are done planting the seed all this all is supposed to come back here Visiting a farmer's field uh, near where we have planted our field. This is a maize field. They used the conservation agriculture method, uh, what previously James had shown us in the previous video. So there is James and, and Faustin. Faustin is a lead farmer in this area. The discussion going on them using a selective herbicide for such large portions of for the conservation agriculture we do not use hose or jambes as earlier demonstrated but we use a reaper 
So we are heading to the next uh, field, visiting the next farm. Uh, James is also an agronomist in this area. So we are heading to check the next field. I think that will not be uh, Yes, but uh, otherwise this field is doing okay. Um, the only thing that is hap going to happen soon or uh, rather this week is that they are going to have a selective herbicide here because there is too much weed, especially up there. there. Yes, so we are heading out to the next farmer's field. These were ex sisal fields, that's why you can see the sisal plants. But uh, currently most farmers here are doing maize. Uh, even for us, James and myself and Faustin are doing a maize. And uh, the next field that we're also going to check has a maize. So most of the farmers here are doing maize because um, the sisal does not pay as much anymore. And they, they claim the market is not there anymore, as it used to be. Do you think it's cut warm? So they're experiencing some damages in this field, and they're assessing if it's cut warm. Ants. Ants. Mm, scouting going on. Uh, they are doing uh, scouting of the field. Plus, they just realized the spacing is not okay. But since um, the population, they have assessed the, the maize population is what they expect almost what they expected uh they will only recommend proper feeding of what is there and uh, this is the field farmers are still preparing their fields if you can hear there is a tractor the other field that is working on the other field there is hope of the rains continuing as you can see there it's getting cloudy and as farmers and agronomists are desires that the rains continue for a while yeah that's it that we had for today till next time remember to stay blessed and productive bye bye